Well, welcome back, everyone. This is Sharon coming at you again. Um, you see our little thingamajigger up there on the on the screen. Uh, you know, take a few seconds to look over that. You know, I just little disclaimer. And you know, let's tell you what we're about. We ain't here to start no trouble. We're just here for entertainment, education, and all that other good old, good old stuff. You know that stuff. So, uh, oh, let me introduce my co-host. I forgot all about him. Sorry about that, co host It's me again, Jamal, the creative director. And this is Always Working Hard, TC. I mean, how you going to recreate something that's already created? Well, we have a story here. It shows why. You shouldn't send your kids to the white man for education because the white man don't give a flying flip about your little black boy. Wow, Kanye West. What? <laughs> what? what did, did I say something wrong? Was it something I said? <laughs> you didn't know Kanye, ain't you? Well, he don't. Um, why are you going to send your little black boy to the enemy to educate him? <laughs> <laughs> what? 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 TC, what did I say wrong? <laughs> it's not what you say wrong, it's how you deliver the message. Oh! <laughs> I delivered the wrong one. Yeah. I can't, you can't say all of them that way. I don't know how, I don't know percentage of how many that way, so I can't say all of them. Well, I guess you, uh, Joseph Clark off Fair East Side, the enemy's at the door. Get some shit. Your enemy's at the door. Enemy's at the door. Get the back. Get the back. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, uh, ninety nine point five percent of them okay. are bad. Okay, that sounds that sounds a little bit better. Ninety nine point five is that yeah. better, TC? Better, yeah, that's better. Better than what you said first time. Okay. Like the flood case, <laughs> that enemy. You just got to call the face. Well, now come on now. You 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 know. I love my enemies. You right. You right. You right. You know. You know. Um. Well, we'll let you listen to the story. Then we'll we'll come back. Atlanta, the mother of a Crawford Long Middle School student has taken legal action against Atlanta Public Schools after she claims her son was strangled by his teacher. That mother is seeking damages and changes to school policy. She and her attorney sat down with Fox Live's Joy Dukes. Joy joins us now at the live desk with more. Yeah, Courtney Russ, that mother tells us her son's injuries during that incident just weeks before the last day of school required an ER visit. Since then, she says he's dealt with both physical and mental trauma. All I can think about is, is my child okay? Centaria Lomnick recalled the sheer panic she felt after receiving a phone call from her son to Morris' school on May 3rd, letting her know he passed out. She said, hey, I just wanted you to know EMS is on their way because Tavares is unconscious. And immediately my heart dropped and I started crying. An incident report from APS says the 13-year-old student lost consciousness in the classroom that morning, leaving him with a gash on his lip and swelling. Alumnic's attorney, Kiana Chennault, tells Fox 5 days after Tavares regained his short-term memory, they were told there was much more to the story. Tavares was um, kind of horse playing. He had something in his hand that the teacher wanted him to put down. The teacher comes up from behind him, puts him in, in a chokehold and strangles him. Alumnic says she spoke with the teacher that day who told her that her son passed out but did not mention putting him in a chokehold. He's heartbreaking because he's somewhere why I trust in my child to be safe. Chanel claims several students in the class witnessed the incident and an instance of the teacher making light of it afterward. After he choked him, he called him Little Pass Outer. Lomnick tells Fox. <laughs> wow, little, little <laughs> Pass out. Well, I know she said she wanted the school to change their policy. I think they did change their policy. At that mean, they strangled him, they put him in a chokehold, they didn't put a rope around his neck. Oh, oh, she didn't want those chains. Oh well, well, at least they didn't hang him from the tree. They just put, they just put yeah, him on. Just works mm -hmm. choking him out. Well, what? we don't know whether this was a white man or a black man. Oh, come it, on it, now. This, this oh, is Atlanta. Nah, nah. This is Atlanta. It could have been a we black know, man. We, we know, we know. We know what it was. That's not play. That's not sweet things underneath no. the car. We, we assume what it Sydney, was. Sydney, no, I think it was better when kids when school was segregated. 
Wow, Horrocks. Blacks went to blacks and whites went to whites. You didn't have all this trouble. You didn't have to uh, take your kid and go to court so you can uh, braid your hair and go to school when you was in the black school. I mean, put send your your black kid to a white school just like throwing a steak in front of a pit bull that hadn't eaten in three weeks. <laughs> he ought to change that. Oh. I mean, we can't say we don't know what color this man is. I got a pretty good idea. Like I said, like uh, Tiffany Henry said, those are allizations. Uh, continue playing the video. You'll find out. You'll find out. <laughs> You'll find out. Five, her son has since been diagnosed with pre-PTSD. In a demand letter sent to APS, she asked for a thorough investigation into the teacher that leads to his firing and one million dollars in damages for her son. Ooh, that's all right. you asked for? You need to ask for more than that. Just one million? Nothing Tavares was doing warranted him being choked. If those demands aren't met, they plan to file a lawsuit. They ain't, they not going to just hand you a million dollars. No, sure ain't. You got to go to court. <laughs> You're going to have to go to court and get that million dollars. Now, don't you think it's better when when black uh, uh, kids go into black school? Well, I wouldn't I, know, so. I wouldn't know nothing about Well, I know because I went. <laughs> Didn't nobody put me in a chokehold and strangle me. It wasn't until I started going to white school, you had to go and fight every day. And you had teachers up there the, threatening to pick you in the desk up and throw you, sling you out into the hall. You had that every day. That, 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 that happened to one of my classmates. <laughs> well, you made it sound like it was personal experience on your Well, family. I was there. <laughs> you was there. You made it sound like that. Told, told that. If you don't shut up, I'm going to pick you in that chair and sling you out into the uh, lockers. Look at now. He didn't say that to no white students that was acting up. Hey, that was a different time. I don't know nothing about it. It's the same dude. time. It was different era, same time, same people. No, it ain't the same, same people. people. Oh, no. Our schools one not uh, segregated. Our, we was going to school with Asians, I know, Hispanics. I ain't, I ain't, no, I ain't talking about segregated. And we, went, went, we had teachers threatening <laughs> so hard. To, because <laughs> now they, had, they just got it undercover. Is that right? They just got it undercover now. In our school, we went to Asian, Hispanics, white. It's still the same mentality, just undercover. They know they can't get away with it no more like that, so they keep it on the wraps. Is that right? Well, I, they sneak around and do their little dirty, underhanded, sneaky stuff. I'm glad I didn't have those problems. Oh, we forgot to mention we got this video from Fox 5 Atlanta News. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. I didn't get the chance to witness all that, but I'm glad I didn't, because I'd be a lunatic if I did. Yeah, I, I, old Prince, I, I still remember that old redneck man. Whoa! He, oh, he had a red face. <laughs> he, he, he was, he was a big old redneck. His name was Mister Bad. Hey, you were stopping saying that. That was his name. You get sued for that. Okay. <laughs> he had a he was, old big old had an old red face. He walked around. Uh, the threatening people. Why <laughs> you off the chain today? <laughs> I'm, I'm just telling the truth. <laughs> sound like some racism Does showing. The, the truth sound harsh. <laughs> yes, it does. What are you telling? That's why. If you're not working, you need to homeschool your children, cause the whites, the school only go teach your little little brown pookie. So much, then you ain't gonna learn about his black history. He's not gonna learn anything. I don't think they just gonna teach him enough just to get him out. They gonna pass him. He he gonna be failing, but they gonna pass him. He gonna get in twelfth grade and he can't read, but he gonna get he gonna get he gonna graduate. All right. Cause they know you gonna be on the corner smoking weed, drinking some beer, and shucking jive. I guess we look too ahead of this story right here. This story just took a whole nother twist. This story took another turn. We ain't talking about story no more. This is why we talk about the. Uh, talking about the, shucking, jiving. That's what happens when you send your black kid to white school. They ain't gonna teach him nothing. Go teach him just enough. And so he can, he go get out there and, and do nothing with himself. We are, you already got the 13 year old drinking, smoking, 
Why they uh, they 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 getting him ready for prison? Uh, well, that's a little too far ahead of the story. He already got PTSD, so he gonna be well, traumatized. I, I guess you would too if somebody choked you out. Okay, so he out. traumatized. So that's yeah. he's on. He's knocking on marijuana's door. Well, well you don't you know that for sure. Ah, now he gonna need a joint to help calm him. Oh, wow, down. Uncle Ruckus. You sound just like Uncle Ruckus. <laughs> this is what the white man did to him. Uh, well, we, we know what happened, but uh, you jumping too far ahead of his future. He's uh, us around the corner. <laughs> well, we, I, don't, we don't know that yet. We can assume, but you don't know. Well, I, I didn't say for sure that did I. You yeah, didn't sound like it I, wasn't for sure. <laughs> But the, uh, one little fact. Can I give a little fact? <laughs> You've been getting a lot of facts. Go ahead. Go ahead. This is your show. <laughs> Do you know when the white man started breaking up the black family in 1943? They sent out white representatives to the black neighborhood telling mothers, if you get rid of your man, we'll give you a 15 extra dollars a month. Uh, uh, excuse me, ma'am. What does it have to do with this show? I'm showing how the okay. black family then messed up. So these crazy black women uh, kicked the man out so they get 15 extra dollars a month. And that just destroyed the black family. I want to let you know your comment section going to be on <laughs> fire. <laughs> they, no, they, it's not because it's the that. truth. No, all the other stuff you've been saying, they coming for you. It's the truth. And so that, that doesn't offend. The black family ain't been right ever since. They black women won't rather have that check than a family, than a father in the home to help raise these children. Maybe if this boy had a daddy at home that tan his butt, he wouldn't be horse playing at school because he know the white man ain't going to teach you nothing anyway. Then you horse playing at school ain't learning nothing anyway. So, you know. Hey, put, uh, put your arm around that little black boy that can oh, choke him till the, the lights go out. Hey, hey you, better come. Oh, you, you saying too much. That's what I don't care. You, can, you, can, you can't say too much on YouTube. But that's what it is. We know, but, we know what, it is. what you, what you saying, saying too much. You're so, going, you going on too far. So YouTube don't want you to tell the truth? No. They don't want you to say that. <laughs> Even though it's true? Yeah, that's going to have to be edited. <laughs> we got to edit that No, you out. don't even edit my video because I'm telling the truth. I ain't telling nothing but the truth. It's, it's true, true to you. you saying, well, on YouTube, you can only say YouTube certain things. I ain't said nothing <laughs> too far. Oh, yeah. I ain't going too far. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know about The you. black family destroyed. You got you got generation after generation after generations of people raising uh, children, women raising children, and not being married. I mean, well, I think we just said yeah, I know what we need to say. <laughs> Let's go ahead and do the outro. <laughs> why can't why? You know, you two don't allow you to do too much on here. I ain't said too much. Oh, yeah, I don't know about that. Yeah. You went, uh, to, you, you, you went overboard. <laughs> you went overboard. <laughs> I, okay, people, if, if, leave a comment. If you think I've gone too far, leave a comment. Black people leave a comment. White people don't leave a comment. Wow. Black, <laughs> black. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> you just keep talking. The more you talk, the more you hang yourself. The more you hang yourself. Leave a comment. Am I wrong? Am I wrong? That's all I'm saying. Am I wrong? Did I go too far? So, you know, since they think I have, they think I need to be quiet because I'm going to, you know. Oh, okay, okay. I ain't going to say nothing else. I ain't going like to YouTube going to allow you. Oh, I, I'm not going to say nothing else. Please don't. Uh, go down there and like if you like it. You know, if, if you like the truth, give me a like. If you don't like the truth, then, you know, you don't have to. Then go over there and subscribe if you have because we're going to keep it real and raw over here. So if you don't like it raw, keep it moving. And leave us a comment. You get any last word of the mom? No. I, I, you, I ain't got nothing to say. You said it all. Don't be scared. I'm not scared. You said it all. 
you trying to get monetized so you can't say too much. Now, I'm just expressing myself. Whether I get monetized or not, I will be real. I'm going to keep it real. We know why. We know why. <laughs> well, until next time, people, we said all we had to say. Keep it real. Wake up. All right, we out.